my way again. This time I'm uh, just north of uh, Hallestena and uh, heading north towards Arkesund and uh, perhaps Oxelösund where I have my car. I spent the night here at Småskär and here the ship overtook me. Now I'm at this lighthouse here. I'm planning on moving north along this route. Now I'm about to enter a uh, little more open area. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I am gonna cross it straight away or if I'm gonna keep to the island chain.
I'm exposed to the open sea. There is no touch islands in uh, in this direction. Stopping the waves. Now I'm going downwind, straight downwind. So I'm gonna put up a preventer to not get any surprises from the main swinging over. The jib is uh, still tacked on the other side, but yeah, it doesn't do much now. I'm moving this going either direction. And the mission is on the port side. There's some grounds here. Got to be there. Now the wind changed a little bit, so the wind is on the starboard side. The main is on the starboard side. The Nissan is on the starboard side and we are at the speed record today at 4.8 knots. Side. It's that island in front there. We'll take a lunch break there and also check out the military installations that it, there are some remains from there. This is uh, one of three coastal fortresses that uh, protected the uh, Norrköping and Blåviken. The other two are on the north side of Dorvika, but this one is on the south side. at Bergen. I'm gonna check out if I can see some remaining of the military installations here on this island. Hmm. This looks like it can be something. actually excavated this place. This was a site for the second cannon in the battery. The crew was protected under the rock. The battle station could withstand a nuclear hit. 
from 200 meters distance and onwards. As the cannons were separated by about this distance, several atomic bombs would be needed to take out the whole fortress. Also the main reserve command bunkers as well as ammunition depot were spread out. The view from the cannon out towards the sea is magnificent and it would be hard for the enemy to hide. As there are only small and low islands in front of it. Let's move on to see what more there is. Previous entrance perhaps. To the right we have the reserve command bunker with a view. Free sight north from this cannon and east. This was the main ammunition depot. Hmm. Main entrance, perhaps. Something is hidden under here. Here we have one of many battle stations for the defense of the fortress. This is a good time to break. If you join me next episode I will say north over Blåviken. Now there is not much more to do than to like and subscribe. Thank you for joining me on this tour.